Hello all. In this tutorial, we will create a 3D prop in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference file over here. We'll take a reference file. We'll take an image. So as you can see, we can take this image over here as a reference. Also, if you want this reference image on the back side, what we can do is you can. There are two ways to do it. So let's see. Let's see the size of this image that is 640 by 480 pixels. So take a plane over here like this. And let's take it as 480 by 640 pixels like this resize it so push this up over here so go into material press M go into this diffuse bitmap and let's take that reference over here so we'll take the reference and assign it over here press F3 so now you can see your so now you can lock this image so you can use this so you can lock this image so if you want to increase the quality of this press shift T bitmap performance and memory go into the global settings and increase it and you can increase a bit if it increases you can increase it go into this hierarchy link info and lock this properties so now you can see now it is not movable so how we will model this it's very simple we can take a box from here let's take a box from here let's take a box resize the box from here press alt and x make it as shaded convert to editable poly go into the vertex and push this over here push this over here now the main thing over here is just push it over here like this go into the swift loop option use a swift loop go into this vertices you can push it like this over here and push this over here like this so you can shift it more in a curve if you want you can give that you can push it like this so this is a way you can do this huh? stuff or you can even extrude it from here directly now the take again a swift loop over here put one more swift loop you can use a swift loop over here go into the vertices you can take a swift loop over here take it like this and keep it over here like this so now the next step over here what we'll do is take a box over here so you can just uh, resize it convert to editable poly you can go into the vertices keep it over here keep this over here select the polygons over here and extrude it like this click ok go into the vertices push this here like this push it over here like this again select the polygon and extrude it 
this is also a method which you can utilize it you can just go on tracing that particular shape shift it like this again extrude it so you can just redefine the shape in this particular manner So now as you can see if you go into the perspective view as you can see you have defined the shape over here you have defined the shape over here like this you can also add a swift loop over here also at the edges we are going to add a swift loop and same you can add some swift loop over here also so even you can extrude it over here and give a bit of a curve stuff over here so you can give a curve so now you can see over here you can just select this press R and you can make it look a bit more sharp make it look more sharper and press alt L for the loop and you can just resize it from here to give it you know you can just change the color of it you can give it a bit more sharpy look So as we have not defined it right now, we can just give a curve over here. Just define a curve. So right click cut, you can define a curve like this if you want. You can define a curve. If you want to define a curve, you can easily define a curve over here. So let's select this edge and this edge press control backspace let's give it a cut over here like this and let's end it over here like this so you can use it over here up it out Not much, but you can give a bit, you know, you can reshape it a bit. Push this up. So this is uh, one kind of a method which we use over here. So if you want to use the same method as we have done over here, you can do it in the same way. So if you want to do in that way, you can just create a box over here as we have done it for this previously. You can just take it like this. Now after that, you can convert into editable poly. These are the two methods which I have done. So this is one method, just extrude it, go over here, and you can push this down like this. Again select the polygons and again extrude it, again 
push this over here and you can push this over here so this is also one kind of a method which we use it for creation of this stuff and extrude it again and as you can see so we have just created this stuff like this over here so now you have the loop part just go on giving the loops over here so as you go on giving the loops you can make it look more curvy so you can just push this like this over here this over here this over here so we are defining it a perfect curve right so you need to adjust it in that particular way so now again extrude it so now you can extrude it and as you can see you get the perfect over here so you can uh, select this and you can sorry you can just resize it from here like this to give it a more sharp look so this is also kind of a method which you can utilize it you give a perfect shape over here so the rest of the part over here like this just loop use the loop options and you can resize it a bit out so you can see you get some kind of uh, more sharpy stuff you can also select this loop and you can use both of this to make give it a more sharpy stuff. So thanks for watching this tutorial, we will continue in the second part.